Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today uh, I got some of these little Seed NRF 52840 plus WS, uh, uh, the SX, WIO SX 1262 tiny little nodes that I got that um, I thought I'd build a little um, solar uh, node, a Mestastic or uh, Mescore solar node with it. These NRF chips are known to be very light on, on or they, they are very light on uh, power usage. So they make excellent solar nodes. So, um, you know, uh, uh, if it has to run off battery. Um, they also have a ESP32 version of this, but I've done that in the past and those are just, they just take too much power. But these, we're going to try this. I haven't actually built it. Here's one. That's already out the package. It looks like this. It's a, uh, you know, just a little uh, chip. Um, uh, and um, the, the radio is down the bottom. There you can see there's a little antenna that comes out of there. If you take these apart, and you can do that, we can see there they are. That part is the, the uh, SX um, uh, radio. And uh, this part is the processor. And there's two little pads there, battery pads, battery positive and negative. I'm going to use those pads. So um, the idea is that um, this chip, and uh, it has a certain way of going back. I think it's this way. Yep, this way. Um, uh, uh, this chip, I'm going to uh, try, and I've got this tiny little um, uh, uh, solar panel over here that comes out with a uh, USB-C. Um, but that's not all you need to build a solar uh, panel. You know, you can just think, oh, you're going to stick that in there and it will work. That, that doesn't work because, um, you know, the solar panel needs to charge a battery. Yeah, I think uh, uh, um, I'm going to uh, 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 try and um, connect the battery, connect a little solar panel in there. There you have it, and then um, I have a little battery over here. I have just a spare battery, which I will um, I will connect up there, and uh, then I printed this little case, and um, here's a little case. Um, um, I can put a, a proper MPPT charge controller in like this one, but I think I'll try it first with just a built-in charge controller. Um, then I printed this little case. Um, that um, you know, I can put a little antenna on, and I made a little hole down the bottom here so that I can bring this cable inside. But obviously, I'll have to cut this cable quite a bit, you know, to and uh, you know, because it's way too long on, on this little solar panel. But this case will ultimately then I'll just fit it to the back here, so it will fit on the back here. And I made a little place there for the chip to go in, so something like that the chip can sit inside there um, and then i'll put in a uh, this antenna um, and then i'll connect up this battery which i think is a thousand or whatever 1.3 1.1 something like that uh, milliamp hour it's just a spare battery i have i think any any one of these batteries would work um, I'll connect that up and um, you know and then here's the back cover for the case you can just we can stick that on there and all of that would fit on the back there and then ultimately I'll have a tiny solar node so that's the plan so um, I'm going to start um, uh, uh, um, soldering over here um, and um, I, I'm actually digging my my green and yellow color scheme over here, my John Deere color scheme. You see, here's another little note that I printed. And the reason is, was the only colors I have available for my 3D printer at the moment. But I actually like it. It looks cool. So that will also be green and, and yellow. So let me get soldering and, and see if I can get that going.
Okay, so I got it, uh, I got this cut and made it shorter. There is a, a little solar panel with a wire coming through there now. So um, I can actually cut this one off, I don't, I don't need that one. Um, but, uh, um, you know, this is for, it's got like a dual connector there. Let me actually cut that one off. Boom, it's gone. Okay. That's not short. There we go. Good. Um, then um, you saw the pictures of the two little pads. I just put this little uh, power connector on there and I put the little pigtail on there. So the next step would be is to mount it inside here and I'll just use some double sided tape for that. So um, this is actually good quality double sided tape but with that comes the problem of getting it to to come off um, you know getting it to actually work properly so uh, uh, let me get that right so there and then uh, I want to stick some uh, you know the battery down with some double-sided tape as well so I'm going to actually cut two strips of that uh, you know one over there on the battery one over there on the battery. This battery is a little bit big for this setup, but uh, it's what I got at the moment. And now comes the painstaking task of trying to peel off these stickers. And this is the frustrating part. This could maybe take... I might have to pause this video to get this done because this is so freaking difficult. Oh! Goodness, how is it so difficult? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Boom. Right, um, so that I'm just going to stick in there. A little place I made for it over there. Boom, that's stuck in there. Let's do the same with uh, the battery. Let's hope I can get these, uh, these off. Oh, wait, there, 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 there. <laughs> I got one. Uh, and let's see, do I get the second one? There we go. Almost, almost. You can do this. I know I can. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to stick the battery in here, like over there. So there we go. Little seed nodes in there. Here's the battery cord. Here's from uh, the solar uh, a panel, little solar panel wire goes in there. That can go on all on there. Now let me mount the antenna. But um, always remember, you don't want to turn this thing on without the uh, antenna connected. You always want to first have the antenna, um, the antenna out there uh, and connect it before you turn the power on. So I'm just going to bring that through. I'm going to put a spring washer on the outside. And I'm going to uh, tighten this guy. Now this might be a little bit short because my case is a little thick. So I'm actually going to forego the spring washer um, and just leave a washer on the inside. Now I have to uh, somehow also make this uh, waterproof if I want to leave it outside, which I'll do with some silicone around here um, at some point. But for now I just want to get it going. So I'm just going to tighten this a little bit on here. And that should be tight enough. I'm going to uh, put my antenna on. Yep, that's good. Antenna fits. That fits. That's all good. Power is in there. Now, let me power her up. And I think it goes this way. Yep, this way. There goes a little power. Now um, all these little plugs and stuff, I'll, I'll put a link on, on the blog post or whatever, or on the, in the description, um, so you can get those things. Right, and there it is, it's connected. Let me see if I uh, can see it. I actually previously just flashed this uh, little uh, seed um, on the flasher.meshtastic.org 
And there it is. I gave it this name, uh, Mestastic Seed NRF. And we can see it's a Zao uh, NRF kit. Um, and it's in client mode. And it's 96 battery, 414, signal good. It's up and running. So um, the next step would be just to, uh, and there's just a quick look inside again. Just there's a little note with the power coming in from a solar panel. The battery pads which I soldered, and that goes to the battery. And then this little cable which is the, uh, um, I put a little pigtail on there for the antenna. And now all I have to do is really just close the little case, boom, like that. And um, uh, double side tape it to the back of this. So. That would be the ne next task here. Um, I can actually, you know, there's better ways to, to solve that than properly mount it, I guess. Um, but, you know, for now I'm just going to use double side tape. So I'm going to stick some over there. And stick another one over here. Maybe I'll do one in the middle because I really want this to stick. <laughs> so here's three. Uh, of those pads and here comes the painstaking task of taking them off again oh goodness taking the sticker off the back there we go I find that this is actually the easiest method is using my side cutter like this there we go boom one so uh, let me get the others done Two <laughs> and there we go, number three. Right, let's uh, stick it on there. I'm going to stick it like, well, let's center it. There we go, and it's on there. Boom, and there you have it. A little portable solar mestastic or mesh core node that um, I can just go outside, put in the sun like that, and uh, it will charge. Or I can um, foot, put some uh, fasteners on here, put it against a pole or something. I'll put a proper antenna on, um, and uh, there you have it. It's uh, working, it's operating, um, and with this size solar panel it should charge fairly quickly. I don't see any problem with that. And it's also in the shade, it's behind the little solar panel. So uh, pretty neat. That's a, a quick uh, solar node build that uh, you can just uh, quickly use. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope that made sense. I hope you you like that. Um, if you have any questions or want to try this or whatever, just let me know. I'm see if I can help. Thank you.